Pisces, this is going to be your reading for April 2020. We will be checking your current energies, near future, recent past, advice cards, and possible outcome. If you would like a personal reading, because this is a general read for all zodiacs, like I mean all Pisces people out there, but if you want a personal reading that is maybe you have some questions or something like that then you can find that in the description down below just let me know they're like fifteen dollars um and let's get into your reading for april 2020. see what we have for you be dealing with an air sign here Pisces Gemini Aquarius or Libra I do see Gemini here very strongly because the lovers card represent Gemini represents uh, sorry my accent is so weird mm, interesting you could have Sagittarius in your chart, maybe. Could be a Sag or Leo rising. Um, nice. <laughs> nice. Very nice. It's a very love focused reading. Every single time, Pisces, every single time. It's all emotions with you, every reading. But this is a very good reading. Let's get into it. So I feel like Six of Wands, you know, uh, it's in reverse, upright, it means a lot of confidence, you know, determination. But in reverse, it's kind of out of that. What I'm getting here... Okay, let's get into this. Okay, Six of Wands is basically, you know, lacking confidence, feeling... How do I say this? Okay... not feeling so confident about what I'm seeing here is this is definitely a love connection that you're dealing with you could be dealing with a Gemini an air sign Gemini Aquarius or Libra or could be a fire sign that you're dealing with but whoever this is you feel like you just don't feel so confident about them in the long term you know um, it feels like you feel like that you have been putting in a lot of per work into it in the past in this connection and uh, it is definitely divinely guided because see that's a soulmate card that's a soulmate card and this is the third Pisces reading I'm doing and this is literally the second time it's uh, these two cards have come out at the same time and this is a soulmate card um, six also kind of represents someone from your past uh, but it's not in cups so we won't see it that way what I'm seeing your current energy is basically feeling like You've put in so much work and, uh, you know, you're just not feeling so confident about this person, this connection. You're just not seeing it in the long term. Um, however, you know that it is something that's divinely guided. You know that this is something the universe has brought you. This is something you've been wishing for, the type of person, you know, you do want, like this person, the way they make you feel, nobody else makes you feel that way. And uh, this could be reversed, this could be vice versa, maybe this is how they feel about you. But King of Swords, I see, you know, determination. You're very, maybe something has happened between you two. Uh, maybe they were not putting in as much effort as you were in the past. And that left you feeling like not so confident about them about this connection but you're still you know deciding to put in the work you're still you just know that you have that determination that yeah no this this is it this is going to work um but just because of the way they have acted in the past is causing you a lot of indecision and you can't decide whether you should you know keep putting in the work and you know trying to like like keep going and keep putting in the work and keep hoping that you know something good will come out of this and they will you know 
might maybe they have like mental health issues i'm hearing this is a very random thing i just said um and you just don't know if you can deal with all of that maybe they have a lot of emotional baggage and it just takes a lot of effort from you you know to figure out how to deal with them how to keep them happy but it's just that even if it even though it's kind of hard on you and it's a lot of work the way they make you feel nobody else makes you feel that way so you know that this is something special and this is something definitely worth working towards and you do see long term success here but you're just not so sure about it because it's just so much work that it makes you doubt that is it really worth it but you know that if you know if you just um, this is definitely someone you know is in your life definitely a soulmate soulmates aren't always people we end up with and we all have multiple soulmates i believe um sometimes they're just to impact us in some like really big way to point us in the right direction in life stuff like that endings with them can be really painful but here i'm seeing that you're willing to put in the work you're willing to work on things to you know preserve this relationship and advice is preserve it but in your near future, I'm seeing two of swords reverse, so you could be feeling a little indecisive. You're just having a hard time deciding if it's worth it or not. Because deep down, you know, your intuition is telling you it is worth it. Because this is someone, something that, you know, doesn't come around easily. It doesn't happen again and again. This is something very special, this connection that you have with this person. But it's just so much work. And you know, guys, good things never come easily. Remember that. They always take a lot of work. So you're just kind of, you know, thinking like, do I water this plant anymore? Should I keep doing this? Should I keep putting in the effort? But then near future, I'm seeing seven of wands, which is actually putting in the work and saying, yeah, no, I'm doing this. Even though you're indecisive, maybe you're not telling them that you're having second thoughts. Because physically and mentally, you're still putting in the work. But you're also kind of, you know, something's holding you back here. And, you know, I'm thinking it's just that it takes so much work that you doubt it. But then comes a moment where it's like, no, it's worth it. It's worth it. It's like you keep talking yourself out of that negative thing. And which is a good thing because it's definitely something that's worth it. And... You know, guys, even if it doesn't work out in the long term, I do see this is a soulmate, so this could totally work out. We'll see that in the possible outcome. I haven't taken a card out for that yet. But I do see you putting in the work. You are putting in that effort, even though you feel a little tired. You're like, ugh, this is so much work. I don't know. I'm not sure about this. Should I keep going? Should I keep doing this? But you have this determination. You're like, no, this is something special, and I respect it, and I love this. And I like how this person makes me feel. And, you know, even though I'm getting indecisive and I'm having, I'm questioning my, my decisions, but I will keep going. And I see this month of April, you're still putting in the work. And your advice for the month of April is the Two of Cups and the World card. Which means, you know, preserving emotional relationships, emotional connections, things with love, you know, equal give and take. So I do see that. You shouldn't lower your value. You should never, you know, settle for less than what you deserve, logically speaking. But spiritually speaking, this is something that is very special. This is, you know, this isn't something that happens all the time. This is some, this, the, this type of connection is divinely guided. The universe has brought you this. And, you know, don't question it. I would say the cards are saying that you should keep putting in the work. And, you know... Even though you're having doubtful moments and it might feel like it's a lot of work, it's worth it. And logically speaking again, even if it doesn't work out in the long term, I'm getting the feeling it will. But for, if for some reason it doesn't, it will still teach you a really big lesson or something very important. It will have a really deep impact in your life. And I'm seeing it in a positive way. I'm not saying that in a negative way. It will have a very good impact on you. Because this is definitely something the universe has brought to you to get you where you need to go in life. Okay? 
And this is definitely a love reading. This just turned so quick, but I'm glad I love doing love readings. <laughs> love, love. But very good reading. You could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign, like I said. Definitely could be a Gemini. Or you could have Gemini in your chart. Energies could be vice versa. And remember, guys, we can always shift on our energy in any given moment. But what I see here is that you have this beautiful connection with someone, but it just feels like a lot of work. Feels like that, you know, they have so much burden or emotional burdens or maybe they're not emotionally open enough or they're just not giving you enough and you feel like you're doing all the work all the time. I would suggest if that's the case where you feel like you're doing all the work, ask them. Talk to them, have a conversation and, you know, ask them to put in the work too and say that, hey, you know, this is getting a little tiring, but like I need you to put in the effort to meet me halfway. Um, but whatever this is, whatever this connection is, is beautiful, is divinely guided. This is definitely your soulmate or someone who is going to, you know, be very important in your life. And your advice here is to preserve it, work on it, and have faith. Have faith that this is for the greater good. Take your risks, you know, guys. Life is a 50-50 overall, and... It's up to us what we do and what we don't do, right? I mean, it's 50-50. If I want, I could go eat something right now or I could not eat something right now. It's my choice. It's your choice all the time. We decide what we want to do. So I feel like this is worth the risk. It might feel like it's a bit risky or it's a lot of work, but don't let that hold you back because this is something beautiful here. And you know that because you the, the way this person makes you feel, nobody else makes you feel. Just take it as it resonates. And now we're going to see your possible outcome. What's the possible outcome with me? I can see this. Five of Wands. So, and then it's, we have Seven of Wands too. So, you know, why is the Five of Wands here? I want to know. There could be a lot of competition surrounding this person. Uh, maybe you have a lot of options or they have a lot of options or you feel like they have other options. You know, and you really have to fight to get their attention sometimes or maybe they have a lot going on all the time but i see you fighting you know you're not giving up advices put in the effort and you know if you feel like outcome is the king of cups and the magician with the five of wands that's beautiful you guys and pisces that's your energy because you see five of wands is competition and you know there might be some hurdles here that you need to really fight for this person this connection it looks like it takes a lot of work this could be a past person that you're rekindling things with and you guys have a lot of you know baggage from the past to work on but the outcome is the king of cups and the magician card so even though there's competition and there's hurdles true love you know true abundance happiness wisdom and this is something you've manifested. This is something you've been wishing for. And you have made this happen. So this is divinely guided. This is so like, oh, wow, that's beautiful. You know, the world, the magician. It's like you had the power to ask the universe to bring this into your life. And it's leaving you as the king of cups. Someone full of love, full of wisdom, full of, you know, happy energy. So it might feel like a lot of work. I keep repeating myself, but it's worth it. This is worth it. This is a beautiful reading. So far today, this is like one of the nicest readings. Now let's see an affirmation card for my Pisces. Something to be mindful of in the month of April. Magic. That's funny. We got the magician card for your uh, possible outcome. I believe in magic, I see evidence of it all the time, and though the tricks can probably be explained away by something sensible and ordinary, I'd rather not ruin the fun. Other people can fill their days with mere coincidence, I'll fill mine with holy crap, that's unbelievable. So yeah, you guys, believe this is something you've manifested, this is something you have attracted in your life, and this is going to make you very happy. And you might have your doubts and it might seem like a lot of work, but good things don't come easy. Remember that. I think I'll put that in the description. But let's see here my advice for you. 
What should I say to them? Take responsibility for your actions. Okay, interesting. So if this is a past person or, you know, if you're the one, have some patience and take responsibility for your actions. So that's my advice for you, Pisces. Um, but overall, this looks like a beautiful month. This looks like a beautiful connection that you're dealing with. Uh, if you guys would like a personal reading, remember that's in the description and we can, you know, further dive into this. But thank you for watching and if this resonates with you, please leave a comment down below, like and subscribe. And beautiful reading, you guys. I'm rooting for you. Don't give up, okay? This is definitely something you have attracted in your life for a reason. The universe is bringing this to you for a reason. And this will leave you in a very good place. So, yeah, I think it's worth it. And this is definitely someone you connect with on a spiritual, emotional, physical, intellectual level. Someone, just the way they make you feel, nobody else makes you feel. 